the landslide in itself originated about 6 kilometers away in the forest in a pristine non uh, inhabited area and the material moved down a river and came and piled up in an area where it was never anticipated to come and pile up so there was a turn that the river took and the river itself has widened and it has become two rivers now teams of ndrf two teams of defense service uh, defense security corps one navy uh, river uh, crossing team then we are also we have also requested for meg uh, engineering uh, task force uh, assistance from army so they are moving in from bangalore uh, primary team has reached uh, mangalore and they will reach vayanad they will do a reconnaissance and then they will requisition the services of uh, um, uh, etf uh, with the bailey bridges oh uh, for moving all these troops we also have uh, aircraft ready at hinden uh, two aircraft are flying in in trivandrum and uh, army from pangod is also sending two columns with bouts to calicut as an advance measure so that uh, if you re need to repl replenish human resources in there that is also available repeated landslides and landslides are repeated in the Kodiko district also and uh, Kodiko didn't have any fatality because uh, there was an anticipatory evacuation people were moved out some houses got damaged but here uh, the landslide in itself originated about 6 kilometers away in the forest in a pristine non uh, inhabited area and the material moved down a river and came and piled up in an area where it was never anticipated to come and pile up so there was a turn that the river took and the river itself has widened and it has become two rivers now so two streams are flowing in that area as of now so that is where uh, the situation is this is quite an unprecedented situation in terms of uh the event the event uh, started in a high hazard zone and uh, there in and around that area three colonies were uh, evacuated yesterday itself but this came and landed in a completely inconspicuous opposite hill on the opposite shore of the river far away so that's what has happened so what is challenging in this situation is the climate the weather is a uh, difficult situation there there is a lot of slush and mud so crossing over has become a difficult part there was one uh, major uh, bridge there the bridge got uh, kind of disconnected ndrf has with great difficulty tied up ropes and is trying to move in people to the other side so that rescuers can go there and fetch people out that is where we are